All right, guys, we're gonna cut into this guy. Okay, it's good. In, right. The fish is good and iced because you can feel how firm the meat is. That's a good thing. What's easier filet like that? Oh, right? big time. Always big ice time. your fish big really time. well, guys. Big time. Big time. Oh. And then. Oh my gosh. Big time. That is a big fish. There. Oh, yes, it is, buddy. Come on, come on. You get to see the inside of him. Yes, we are. Are you okay, Michael? Oh, yeah, big time, bro, big time. Yeah, why don't you explain why you're cutting it like you're cutting it? Why I'm cutting it like this? Well, the rib cage. Yeah, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an outline of each side, and then the, the permit has a massive rib cage right here, guys. And so we're going to, I'll show you guys how we're gonna cut around that. And uh, so I've made my slice there. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Put next to the head. The head, all the meat comes all the way up to the head right here. Yeah. That's and that's a really nice, like you see how I come all the way up here. This right here is a really nice piece of sashimi meat. <laughs> All right, so basically what we're doing right now, guys, is we're making our line. Now, what we do is we make make an incision right here. All the way down to the rib cage. To here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to... Whoa. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut as close as we can to the to the rib cage. Watch out, we got some fresh iguana poop over here. Don't oh, great! Over, Don't step over here. What? There's fresh iguana poop right here. Nothing makes the day Where? more interesting than some fresh iguana poop. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be some good steak here. Some good permit steak. Yes, look at that meat. Somebody's getting fed. Here we go, guys. Steak number one. Steak number two. Yay, baby. Look at that. Can you hold it up? Let's see. Oh, that's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. You just got to... You just gotta cut no. around the rib cage. See, look at the yeah. Come on in here, Charles. Look at the size of the ribs. Oh wow! They actually stick up a good half inch off of the spine. Like, it, look at that thing, man. It dents way in and then it pops way out. So when you're filleting a thing like this, if you're trying to go straight across and make one big one big uh, slice on a big fillet like yes. this. You are going to run into a major problem having a clean fillet. Yeah. That's why we cut down the middle, and that's why we are going to make these steaks like this. And now we're going to cut around this massive rib cage. Hey, Erica, if you ever wanted to do some baby back ribs, yeah. look at them things. You think Dude, look, look at the size of the rib bones, guys. See the heart. Yeah. Still pumping. Still pump? I don't think so. Well, but it. here's what. <laughs> Here's what I do know. Those are some massive ribs. Look at the size of the ribs on this thing. Dang. Okay, no. guys, look at that chunk of meat, y'all. That's a quarter. That's a quarter. Okay, same thing. We're gonna cut along the ribs, run along the spine. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I love the Lucy commentary. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't get that every place. No, that's that's all. You can only get Lucy commentary right here at Watch Your Lip, guys. It's just the only place. You're gonna oh find yeah. It. The place you're gonna find it. <laughs> hey, go. Hey, okay. Go. This rib cage is a challenge because this meat, yeah. this meat is I, stuck I on these ribs. So you got to kind of cut around it. You might lose a little bit. But, but nice. if, if Eric really wanted to do some uh, permit rib, baby back ribs. Not that far in my, in my experiencing yet. I'd like to, hey, my backyard is set up for barbecue and my kitchen was ready, but we're in renovation process, so yeah. we're not oh, ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. There it goes. 
Come on. Come on. There we are. There we are. All right, guys. I got a little cleaning up to do there, but uh, look at the size of the ribs. Check this out. Look at that thing. See the ribs? All the way down. I see the heart. You see the heart? Where? I don't see a heart. I, you know what I see? Crabbies. We're going to check his stomach. Look at yeah. that. Guys, look at the crab pieces of crab that are just falling out of this thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's crabbies right there. Crabbies right there. <laughs> so, and that's a pretty clean fillet, guys. So, missed yeah. very little meat. Got around the rib cage. Got around the spine. And didn't lose a lot of meat. So, that slicing the fillet down the middle is what enabled us to get that much meat off of this fish. So, yeah. Yeah, bro. Just kind of this way. Okay. Watch out, Mike. You're a little too close, buddy. Don't want this to become a tragic video. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, boys. Yeah, man, when I saw those crabs running, I had my hope level went way up. Yeah. Oh, my no. goodness. I was like, I got the poles out and put them all. I was like, this could be a very good meat. And by the way, I didn't say this. He, uh, there's two, there's a couple about 50 yards away from me. They were watching me the whole time, you know, yeah. haul the stuff down, set the trap up, yeah. put the poles out, and then they saw when it hit, and then, you know, the, he ran about two blocks to the north. So when I got him, when I walked him back, they kind of intercepted us. I think we have that on video also. We'll see some of that. I, I had a comment on one of my videos last night. From a guy that says, hey, I watched your buddy pull a massive permit up on the beach last night. That's, awesome. That's probably him, right? Okay. I don't know. Oh, yay. I don't know. Did you, have, did you guys have a bunch of people watching? Oh, no, yay. no. It was just a, there was some people. No, it was not a bunch. It was a few. But there were actually, there was two fishermen. There was two guys that, uh, I don't think they're from here. They, they seemed like they were from South America. And he went and got like a fishing pole from Walmart and he was using a Rapala. Okay. And he goes, do you think I can catch one with this? <clears throat> I was like, no. Not one of these. <laughs> not one of these. I said, not but there, there's fish out there, but... I didn't see any bait fish out there. I saw some. I saw some little pompano. They were hit, they were eating the uh, snapper remains. Well, the mullet are going to be going soon. Oh, we saw a mullet pot. Did you? Dude, right next to the beach. These guys swam into it. Big, but as I was, pod? you'll see in the video. As I was dragging them down, I saw the mullet pot. It was, it was about fifty yards further than I went. Okay. Right, in the, right in the shoreline. Was okay. About, mullet are on their way. Mid September. In between a thousand and I don't know, ten thousand mullet. Okay. It was one of those clouds. <laughs> okay. It was a cloud. Looks like a black cloud over the water. Here we are. There's no clouds. Okay. Oh, Meat yeah. tank number three. <laughs> Good night. Come on, Ben. Put him down. Put him down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we don't want to exaggerate when we when we put this in the thumbnail, so we got to say 40, 45.9, not 46. Well, I'm going to actually do the actual math when I get home. <laughs> and make sure that we're not lying. <laughs> That's not good with this. <laughs> You got two adults and a kid that's really good at math. Adult right? teachers and a math kid, and we, we cannot, can't we can't, we can't figure, figure it out. out. It's <laughs> Common core at work. Let's see. <laughs> there it is. Four chunks of meat. <laughs> that's a big freaking fish, dude. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We. Are we gonna check his stomach like fully? Yes. Might as well, dude. Yeah. Might as well, yeah. Might as well. Let's see what this guy has in there. See what, he, see what we got. See what we're working with here, guys. See, see if there's any clam shells. Hey, come over here, buddy. There. Come on. Start our new video. Uh, now, do we have bags? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We've got our permit ribs. There's actually quite a bit of meat inside. We are going to try and make permit rib on the Barbie. Barbecue permit ribs. Let's see how it works. I can't wait to see that. That's, <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. I can't believe I'm actually doing this, but look at that thing, man. There's some good meat on there. Let's see how that works. Oh, yeah. yeah do you, the question is what kind of sauce do you use? Uh, well, I, you know, I'll, I'll pray about it. Permit sauce. <laughs> permit sauce. Permit sauce. Permit sauce. With the, with the crabby a reduction. Oh, okay. we're cutting out the rib cage right here. I missed a little, little chunk of meat in there, but... Uh, guys, right here, we have a beautiful hunk of permit meat. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to cut the bloodline out because we got 22 pounds of meat. We can afford to uh, 
lose a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, so it's actually a fairly decent sized bloodline on this fish. But uh, I'm just gonna cut that out. And now we've got some wonderful, wonderful uh, steaks, loins. This is actually good loins for sashimi. This makes great sashimi meat right here, guys. You can put this right here. You can put that right there in the in a cooler or in, on ice and then slice that nice and thin and you got some great, great sashimi meat. So. <sighs> now open it. Oh. I got goosey if you, hands. If you're on back duty, you gotta be, you gotta be 100%, girl. You gotta girl. be on it, girl. You gotta be sold out to this whole. Yes, you have to be, you have to be sold out. You ready? Hold it tight. Boom. And a little bit of, a little bit of permit. Here we go. Okay. So guys, what we're doing with these fillets, this is actually only a quarter of the fillet. Remember, the permit comes all the way down here, and we have this whole other piece down here that we cut off. So this is a quarter of the meat, but what we're realizing is it's a lot easier to deal with this if you actually cut this in half. So we're gonna start up here, right underneath the rib cage, and we are going to cut this entire fillet all the way down and cut it now. So this is now an eighth. An eighth, one eighth. I do know a little bit of simple fractions. Uh, this is one eighth of the permit. Guys, this top loin right here, this is the top right along the dorsal fin. This goes up over the top of the head. This piece right here is the best sashimi meat right here. Show them where the head begins. The, the, the head is right here. Let's show them where oh, the, the, on the loin. Actually, the, the head is right here. So the, the this comes up and, and is comes right into here piece that goes up along the dorsal fin down towards the tail this is your best piece of meat for sashimi you, you slice that up wonderful meat we make a nice fish head soup out of this <laughs> put you in a bucket bucket head bucket head <laughs> okay here we go all right so we're gonna now skin we're gonna skin this Bug ahead. <laughs> so this is I'm gonna try and do this without losing meat. Yeah, this is laborious process. Yes, it is. To get to do it right is, is definitely laborious. Booger head. No, you calling me a booger head, girl? Dave, yeah, could you, if you were so inclined, could you just cut the guts out and then put this thing over a barbecue like a slow roast fire and? grill it would it turn out okay in your opinion what do you think absolutely yeah 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 it's just fish right yeah it's fish it's, it's a great it's a great permit meat is very firm guys it's very firm it's like a steak so if you like a nice firm fish meat it doesn't flake like a snook or a even snapper this is a firm meat it's gonna be a hearty meal uh good stuff now the other thing i what i think we're still learning is someone i think is rj told us that let the meat sit in your fridge for three days and let it loosen up. Well, I don't know about three. Yeah. Three's a long time. I, I mean, I know swordfish is definitely better after a day or two. Well, I'm going to let my meat sit for a couple, two days. Two days? Yeah. There you go. I'm going to eat the sashimi right away. Yeah, sashimi can go right away. Jackson will be joining us. He's coming home from college, and uh, he's going to be very pleased to see a fridge full of sashimi meat. <laughs> I'm going to take this chunk right here, and this right here is our... That's sashimi meat. So we're going to designate... This side, on each on each side of the fish, the very front port of the loin, probably two thirds of the way down, we're gonna designate that for sashimi. Look at that, bam! That's sashimi, baby. That's sashimi. Yep. Don't drop it. Bingo. 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 The goose is the on fire. Bucket head. Bucket head. <laughs> Let's look at bucket head real quick. Bucket head. What's, what's up, bucket head? This. What nothing goes to waste in the in the permit world. Yep. No. Watch your lip style. No, so here's the thing. So this is permit skin. This is great for crab bait because if we give all those little chunks, then we're just feeding the crabs. So yep. It flows right through the trap. Circle of life. Oh, those snakeheads. Uh, yeah, okay, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Look at the snakeheads, guys. Yep. Watch this. Two snakeheads. So as we're talking about the circle of life, we've got these little monsters right here. They're lovebirds, man. They are lovebirds. 
It's gonna get destroyed, little bluegill. I don't know, but bro, this thing's loaded with snakeheads, huh? On the way down. Yeah. There's uh, hey, Gar in here, obviously. Gar. So this is a little canal, but uh, a lot of life. A lot of oh, life here. Thanks, Very thanks, healthy thanks, with all the. Yep, some eel, eel grass. You got shiners back here. Oh, shiners, yeah. Lots of shiners. Yeah. Um, so here, here's Michael's new live well. Michael's new live well? Oh, jeez. The okay, boat. Because he put bread in there. He puts bread in for the fish? <laughs> yes. He does. Hey. Big, big boys. All right. Beautiful. So nothing goes to waste here, Eric. Here's what are the, we doing? So the skin is perfect crab bait. You put that in a crab trap, it stays together because it's the skin, and crabs absolutely will die, die for it. They, it's like revenge. They, it was interesting, but I say crabs actually, they die for that. And I mean, they literally die for they it. They literally <laughs> die for it because. Yes, they actually literally die for it. There so, it is, still inside there. So I'm going to cut off the guts and stuff. I'll use that for chum maybe for something, uh, just for regular and then, And this is this is great crab bait, right? You put, you break, I'll break it right there at the spine. Yep. And, um, use that for two crab baits. I'll put all this right. in my freezer and bags. Nothing goes to waste. Go, I, nothing goes to waste. So even all this stuff. This is yeah. chum, and that, that's also crab bait. Yeah. Good so we got what little pieces of skin and the rib cage here that All little pieces off. I'll use for chum and maybe even for bait. Maybe know, for bait. Yeah. The big pieces will not break up in the trap. You don't want to feed the crab. This, this right here, guys, that could be the key to a massive fish. Yeah, nothing, nothing goes away. And then, of course, the fish head. We're going to make fish head soup. Fish, oh, where, where's the fish head? Yeah, fish head soup. Guys, nothing goes to waste. This is a fantastic <laughs> meal. It's going to feed a lot of people. Wait, All right, wait, dude, Perkins. I got an answer from Rams Rams. You did. On the fish head. Let's see. Ruben and Rollin. Ruben and Rollin. Let's see what they said. Good catch. What kind of fish is that? Curry fish. We did great cutting meat out of filet. Yeah, that's not, that's, not, report that's not an answer. Did you ask him if you wanted the head? Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Um, Do you want the head? Would you like the head for fish head soup? <laughs> Question mark. That may be more direct. <laughs> <laughs> would you like the head for fish head soup? Fish head soup. No, I want to. I want to actually participate. Yeah. I would like. Oh, we could go over and film. But this. We got to go film it. And maybe Wrong. If we could film you making yes. this, this would be. Yes. That would be fantastic, guys. We're gonna try and do a fish head mm -hmm. soup episode with a permit head. Yeah. Uh, nothing goes to waste, guys. Uh, do perfect. Thank you so much for the uh, for the permit love. Thank you for the uh, labor work. Cause my back, I couldn't be lifting move that fish yeah. around the sun, man. Like, and you know, I just a, a couple snapper heads snapper that heads? I gave you like two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, Turn out like to produce here, yeah. produce all those crabs, which produce permit, which produces meals, which produces more crabs. Yep, more because crabs. that's going in the crab trap. And more meals, hopefully. It is the circle of life. That's the circle of life. Circle of life. Uh, to the kitchen, y'all. Let's see how a big 45-pound permit tastes. Watch it. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.